Hello, maths people, maths teachers, anyone that's involved in maths. I'm going to show you some really wonderful stuff using OneNote. So stick around. I'm sure you're going to like what I've got for you. Right now, I'm going to just share my screen. And I'm going to go straight into class notebooks, okay? As you can see in my class notebook here, I've got A. Harvey, who's my student, okay? My only student in the class. Um, so what I'm going to do, I just want you to imagine you have 30, 25, 30 students, and you want to distribute some work. You can either use a teacher-only section or you can use the content library just to distribute the work. You don't want to go to individual folders and put the work in. You can't do that. That's just going to take you so long. Okay, so what you're going to do is central location, you just distribute the work. So that's what I want to do. So the first thing I want to do is create a page. So I say click add page. So it says untitled page. I want to call it something. So I decide to call it resources. Okay, now what I'm going to do here I'm just going to write a formula using this, okay? If you haven't got this, not a problem. You can type it up, okay? But I just prefer to use the digital pen, okay? So I'm just going to write a very, very simple formula here. Just getting this done. Okay, got my resource page. So I'm just going to write down x squared. Okay, so x squared plus 290 is equal to 907. Remember, you can make this as complicated or as easy as you want. So primary school, secondary school, any level of secondary school, college, you can make it as seriously as easy, as complicated as you want. So it's absolutely brilliant. So what you want to do here, which you might have to do a couple of times, what you're trying to do is click under the X, click under the X and get everything here. So once you make sure you've got every single thing and then you go into your insert tab, you click your insert insert tab and then you click your mathematics tab, okay? And as you can see here, I'll just put myself over here, you've got the actual equation here, X, X, X squared plus 290 is equal to 907. Then you can select an action and you decided to let a Harvey solve for X, okay? So the idea here really, I mean, you're math teachers, you're specialists, you know exactly what you can do. But uh, an idea is for the for the students, you could decide, okay, you, you want the student to practice using quadratic, the quadratic formula. So you've shown her all the steps that she needs to, to do, okay? So she needs, she can go through those steps and then you can give her similar problems, okay? Similar problems for her to solve. So that, that could be an idea, but as your math specialist, I'm sure you have your own way to, of doing it, okay? So what you simply need to do is, the next thing you're going to do is actually just generate a practice quiz. So you click this, and a practice quiz comes up, and then you can decide, oh, I'm going to change quite, okay, I'm going to do four, four questions, which are going to be similar questions. Then you need to generate the quiz. Remember, you're the teacher. You have to generate everything you're going to distribute to the pupil, okay? So it comes up, and then you have, what you have here is have a set of questions which the pupil is going to solve, okay? The pupil is going to solve all these, all these questions. Okay. So what you now need to do, you now need to distribute this to the student. So let me just get rid of this. Let me just take myself here and let me just get rid of this. Okay. So now you go into class notebooks. So you click class notebooks. And then as you can see here, you've got distribute page. You click down. Normally, if you have 20, 30 pupils, you would just click, you use this option to distribute. I've only got one pupil, so I'm going to click individual distribution, which will appear here, okay? And now you've now got to decide where you want to distribute it. Remember, the student has about four folders or five folders, depending on how many folders you've created. So you need to decide where you want to distribute it. So you click here and then you click next. And I've decided, oh, do I want forms? Do I want home? I'm going to put it in forms. So I click forms and I then distribute okay so it's done straight away normally even if you have 
25, 30 kits is normally very, very quick. It normally just takes a minute and it distributes to every single pupil. Okay, so I've done that. So let, let's check the folder. So let me just clear this, uh, clear this one out. And let me go to her folder. Let me just put myself here. Okay, let me just go to her folder. Let's go to forms. And that's the, and that's a, and that's a folder here. Okay, you can you see it's, it's in a section. It's all been distributed perfectly. So what she's going to do now, she can either do it on one note or she can click it and open it in Microsoft Forms. It's probably easier that way. It depends on what she wants to do. So let's just click it like that. And then she's just going to solve for X. Okay. All these equations here, four equations. Now, what I'm going to show you in the next video is how you can ensure that the person's just not guessing. Okay. Because what she can li literally do here is literally just guess. Or, and you really want to make sure that the students is actually learning. Like I said, you're a math specialist. You, you have a way of doing it. But what I would suggest is that you create another folder to put working out. So as she's, if she's chosen a particular answer, then the pupil has to do the working out, okay? It has to do the working out and show you how she got the answers. And that will ensure that this is not randomly just choosing any, any kind of question. And you can also see progression as well. Um, what the person's struggling with. And then you can kind of like make it much easier formulas or much more difficult formulas. You can individually target particular pupils. Guys, it's actually really brilliant. And, but the way to do it, I mean, if you, sometimes you want to have a multiple choice and that's fine. But what I'm trying to find out in business studies as well, I just don't want pupils just guessing randomly. I want them to be able to justify or explain how they've got this. And math is absolutely brilliant for that. Fantastic. Because they can show they're working out. So you just go into the student's folder. As a teacher, you just can create a workout, uh, working out um, test one or, or something like that. And that's where the student would then work it out and then upload it onto that page. So when you have time, you, you have a look and see how that particular pupil has done the working out, okay? And that's what you do. And also I will show you on another video how you can access all the results. So as, for example, I'm just going to guess here. I'm not a math teacher. And then just choose anyone randomly. I think I've only, I've only done three, actually. Yeah, let me just do one more. And then you simply press submit. This is your response has been submitted. And then you say view, view your results. 50%. Wow. <laughs> Just guessing. Amazing. Okay. So now then I'll show you how you can get into forms and actually see the responses. Okay. But I think the idea is that you really want to be able to control what the student does. You do want to stop the student from just randomly guessing. So hopefully this video has been useful for you. I will show you the next, the next um, video will be, be about how you can monitor that. But the simple way of doing it is setting up a folder where the student has to do working out. So hopefully, if this has been of some benefit, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm going to do a lot more of these things. And hopefully you start thinking about using OneNote. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.